welcome back to Kinder Crafty. Today I'm going to share with you the first in a series of birthday party planning videos. My little boy is getting ready to turn three and he chose a Daniel Tiger themed birthday party. Now if you all have been watching me for a while you know I don't typically like themey like popular cartoon themed stuff especially for a birthday party theme his first birthday was sailboats it was nautical classic boy theme timeless you look back at pictures in 10 years it's gonna look like it just happened yesterday second birthday party theme was wooden toy cars not disney pixar cars theme just wooden toy cars darling classic boys theme then my toddler, who is extremely extroverted, very friendly, decided to take it upon himself to launch his own campaign about two months ago and began telling everybody that he met that he was having a Daniel Tiger themed birthday. And I'm not t talking about family and friends, you all. He told cashiers. He told kids that he would meet at the swimming pool. He told anyone and everyone that he was having a Daniel Tiger themed birthday party without any prompting for me or my husband. He just had it in his mind. So people would say, oh great, happy birthday. And I would have to explain his birthday isn't until September. So anyway, I'm eating crow because I was one of those moms that was like, my kid is never gonna have one of those themey, you know, popular themed cartoon birthday parties. And here I am because it's important to him, you all. So I had to put my feelings aside and do what he wanted. He wanted Daniel Tiger themed birthday party. That's what he's getting. And actually, you all, it's a little bit harder, excuse me, it's a little bit harder to find this theme than you would think. So a lot of the things are just either orange or they are um, tiger print. Um, you don't see much of the Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, that classic show from PBS. Um, so in actuality, it's been kind of a nice balance. There are a few, you know, those plastic figurines that he is going to have, um, you know, in his party theme. But some of the other things are going to be very classic. Okay. So, today we're going to start with party favors. I am ma making Daniel Tiger finger puppets. If you are interested in that kind of crafty thing, come along and um, I'll catch up with you at the end of the video. Okay, enjoy! I made this finger puppet for my little boy stocking this past Christmas because he started watching Daniel Tiger last fall and just fell in love with the show and here we are now several months later having a Daniel Tiger themed birthday party. So I'm making these um, for party favors. They'll go inside each of the little goodie bags. Okay, and these are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need some small buttons, um, the white buttons for um, Daniel Tiger's sweater. You need small googly eyes, needle and thread. You need a, a fine point red and black Sharpie marker. You need a hot glue gun. You need some very sharp craft scissors. Polyfill, this is optional. I, I'm gonna stuff the head so it stands out a little bit more, a little more three-dimensional. Then you need um, some orange um, felt, red felt, and a tiny bit of um, dark brown and black felt. First, you're gonna take your red piece of felt. This is cut, it's not exact, it's approximate about four inches long by about one and a half inches wide. So you're just gonna fold it in half and then you're just gonna trim off the corners on the folded side to make like shoulders. So you're gonna cut off a corner there. So that will be like the little sweater, okay? Step one. Okay, next we're gonna take this piece of orange felt. It is about three inches long by about an inch wide. It's not an exact, you all. I just eyeballed it because that's how I do it. You're gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna use one of mine as a guide. It's gonna look kind of like an alien head, right? So here's what you're gonna do. Taking your very sharp craft scissors, you're going to cut off two corners at the bottom. This is on the opened end. Cut off those two corners. Now, on the closed 
On the closed end, you're just going to round off those top two corners. The, that's where the ears are going to go up there. Just round them off. And then, when you look at it, if it looks kind of pointy and funky, oops, I'm sorry you all, I'm not doing a very good job filming this. If it looks kind of pointy and funky, then with your very sharp craft scissors, just take off those points so it looks rounded on the sides. Okay, so when you get done, it should look something like this. If you opened it up, it would look like that. This funny alien head is going to be the tiger's head. This part will go be tucked into the red sweater. Okay, step two done. Okay, now this little piece of orange felt is about an inch long by about three quarters of an inch wide. Remember you all, it's not an exact because I just eyeballed it, but I'm trying to give you um, some measurements if you want it. Okay, you're gonna fold it in half. Once again, you're gonna snip off the ends. My husband stealing a cookie and making noise in the background. Okay, round it off. Then if they're still stuck together, cut them apart. And then you can make them look pretty. You're gonna have to take some time to snip off those corners and round it off. But the one edge that is straight here, that's fine to leave that straight because that's gonna get um, hot glued gunned behind the tiger's um, head. So just take off these little pointy co corners on the sides and round it off and make it look pretty. Okay, next step is sewing up the sides of the red felt. You're gonna sew up one side and then sew up the other. Now, so that is step four. Okay, step five. We're gonna use a little hot glue and we're gonna glue the ears onto the inside here. Let me show you. The inside of the head. So I'm gonna fold the head up. Okay. I'm gonna put, <laughs> you can't touch this, honey. It's very, very hot. Okay. A little hot glue on the back side of the head and glue the ear in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just to the back side. We're not going to we're not going to fold it over yet. Another little dot of glue on the other side. Uh-huh. And glue this one in. Uh -huh. Let that dry completely until um, so that the two sides are not stuck together with the glue cuz you are going to finish it off by hand stitching. You also, after you have the head sewn in and the ears glued in, you're going to stuff some polyfill on the inside, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, you all, so this hole is pretty small, so I'm going to use um, a toothpick or, you know, some kind of skewer to help me stuff the polyfill into the tiger's head. Okay. All right, you all, after you get the polyfill in there, it does take some... So I'm trying to get it into that little space, but if you just use little small um, pinches of the polyfill, a little bit at a time, then you can get it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish off this edge with a little bit of a hot glue gun. Okay, so now that um, the tiger's head is sewn and the end is glued shut, we're gonna go back to this red sweater and we're actually gonna open up the top. I know it sounds kind of funny that we had it closed originally, but that just helps when you're sewing so you don't have to use pins or anything. And then we're gonna stick the tiger head in there and glue it closed. Next, you can add your Google eyes with just a little bit of um, hot glue and very carefully put them on because that hot glue is going to be hot. The little tiny Google eye. And let's do this one. I'm putting the eyes on before the finishing details of the face because it'll help me be able to see where I want to position the stripes and the nose and everything. Okay. Okay, you all, so the little brown triangles are cut out of the felt. I just did free form, they're not measured, and they're hot glued on. Be really careful with the hot glue. You may choose to use a fabric glue instead because they're so tiny you can burn your fingers easily. All right, now I'm gonna cut out a little black piece triangle for his nose and glue that on. 
Okay, so I've got the nose on, as well as the stripes, and now I'm just going to use a little fine point black Sharpie marker to draw the mouth. So I'm going to do a straight line down and curve to the left, curve to the right, and then I'm going to make a smile underneath. Now you can leave it just as is, or if you want to, you can add a little red Sharpie to fill in the mouth, which is what I'm going to do next. And we are all done with our finger puppet. Okay, you all, and that's it. We have this darling handmade party favor that doesn't look exactly like the Daniel Tiger from Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, but pretty close. I think it's... Oops, you all, I forgot to show you one last step. I have these little tiny white buttons that I hot glue gunned on because you know that Daniel Tiger wears a red cardigan hoodie. So I don't have the little laces hanging down, but I thought this represented that little detail. So I think that finishes it off really cute. Okay, and here is the party favor all put together. So there's the little finger puppet we made. I have a little um, tiger pencil. I know it kind of looks like a lion head on the eraser, but it's tiger striped. And one of those, just those little um, candy bags with an orange ribbon tied, some Skittles, some little twistable crayons that I found in the dollar spot at Target. I took them out of the package and just wound some twine around it and a little memo book, a little composition book that was like a dollar. So I think it turned out really cute. I think the little ones will like it. Okay, so you can see that I put it in a bag, that Darling Finger Puppet, with a composition book, crayons, and a pencil. And if you're a little ones that watch Daniel Tiger, you know that there's a whole episode about going to the crayon factory and they learn how to make crayons. So I thought that was very appropriate for um, the party favors. And the Skittles just represent those Daniel Tiger theme colors, which are red, orange, lime green, yellow, and purple. Um, did I say red? Red should be one of the most important. Anyway, thanks for watching you all. Thanks for supporting me. And there will be a couple more in this series coming up. There will be my Daniel Tiger themed birthday cake and maybe some other party foods. Um, there will be um, Daniel Tiger themed activities and crafts coming up. And then I will do my whole like party tablescape and the whole setup. So um, stay tuned for the next um, few videos, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching, you all. Bye-bye.